Here's five tips for moving multiple clips in Final Cut Pro that are easy enough for a beginner, yet powerful enough for an expert. First, I'll show you two different ways to select multiple clips. Then I'll show you the only two tools you need to move those clips. Watch all the way until the end, and I'll show you how to move clips without affecting your connected clips. Okay, in Final Cut Pro, one of the fastest ways to select multiple clips is to click and drag around the clips you want to select, and you'll see this yellow bounding box around the selected clips. You can also select a clip and then hold down shift and click on another clip and it will select all of the clips in between and the one you clicked on at the end. You can also select multiple clips by selecting the first one and then holding down command and clicking on other clips to select them. To unselect something, just click anywhere in this black space in the timeline. If you wanna select all of your clips at once, just press command A and it will select everything in your timeline. You can also select clips with the index. Over here on the left-hand side, click on index, and then go to clips. In here, it has a list of all of the clips in our timeline. And this little marker right here shows us where our playhead is. So all of these clips started before our playhead, and these clips after it start after our playhead. So I can easily select a clip by clicking on it, and just like before, I can hold down shift and select all of them in between. And you'll notice they now have a yellow marking around them to show that they're selected. I can also quickly show just the videos. So then I could quickly select all the video in my project or just the audio or just my titles. I'll select one and press command A and it'll select all the titles. I can also search up here for specific clips. And then just like before, I can click and select them in the index. To close it, just click on index again. All right, make sure you have the select tool selected. Click on the tool pop-up menu and click on select or press A to switch to it. And you should have this little arrow icon. Now let's select these two middle clips. I'll hold down command and select both of them. And now to move those clips, I can just click and drag over here and move it to the left. And you'll notice that the magnetic timeline automatically adjusts and moves the other clips to make room for these. And then I'll let go and they've now been moved to the end of the project and the other clips moved to the left and collapsed. You'll notice that it moved these titles and this audio that was connected to it. If you don't want those to move, I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Okay, now change to the position tool. Click on the pop-up menu and then select position or just press P. It looks a lot like the select tool, but it's an arrow without a tail. Now when I select these clips and I move them, you'll notice that it creates this gap clip over here on the left and it overwrites wherever I let go. So I'll just move it to here and let go. And you'll notice that this river rafting clip now was overwritten with the rock climber. And then we have this gap clip here. This is basically a transparent clip that was created to keep the timing of the project. Okay, is this making sense? Are you getting it? If so, will you let me know with a thumbs up? That way I know if I'm doing a good job and it helps me make better videos. So. I appreciate that like. In a second, I'm gonna show you that sweet secret for moving clips without moving the connected clips. But first I wanna show you how to move multiple clips one or 10 frames at a time. So press A to go back to the select tool. We'll select some titles and some audio and some videos. I want to deselect this title. So I'm gonna hold down command and click on it to unselect it. There we go. So I have two titles selected, two video clips and this sound effect. Now, if I press period, I'll move it forward in time one frame at a time. And you'll notice on the right hand side, it's trimming the river rafting video. And on the left side, it's extending the dune buggy video. I can go back in time by pressing comma. So now I'm moving everything to the left in the timeline. If I hold down shift while pressing comma or period, it moves things 10 frames at a time. Now, if I press P and use those keyboard shortcuts, you'll notice it overwrites the video on the right hand side and creates that gap clip just like before. And then if I use comma, it adds a gap clip to the right side. And I can hold down shift and make that change 10 frames at a time. Audio clips can be moved within a frame. So videos and titles, I can only move one frame at a time, but an audio clip, I can move up to 80 different spaces within a frame. Check this out. Let me zoom in. I'll press Z and I'll zoom in as close as I can here. Notice this vertical gray bar. That is one video frame. But within that, I can move up to 80 subframes with audio files. So if I select multiple audio files and then hold down option and then press period, 
you can see I'm moving those within the frame. A frame is divided into 80 sections. If I hold down Option Shift, I can move it 10 subframes at a time and comma will move it back in time. I can also move multiple clips using time code. So I'll select my two middle clips and then I'll press plus and you'll see that the time code changes here. These two numbers represent hours, then this is minutes, then this is seconds, and this is frames. So I want to move it forward five seconds, so I'll enter 500 and then press enter. And you'll notice that it moved my clips forward five seconds. It overwrote whatever was there. We just have a little bit of that river rafting clip right there and it extended the dune buggy clip. I can move it back in time by selecting and pressing negative and then entering a number. We'll go back two seconds, so I'll enter two. Here's a quick little shortcut. Instead of typing zero, zero again, I'll just press period and it puts it to two seconds and then enter. And you'll see it moved it back two seconds. All right, remember earlier when I was moving these clips, it moves the audio and the titles that are connected to it. Well, it's easy to move them without it. Just hold down the Grov key. It's this little key right under escape. And if I hold that down, you'll see my cursor changes to this special orange icon. And now when I go to move those clips, you'll notice the title and the audio are staying in place. And now I can just move my clips and it doesn't mess up any connected clips with it. So that's how to move multiple clips in Final Cut Pro. Now, if you ever need to speed up your video, you should check out these five tips I put together. Click here to check it out.